Hello, ghostly tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven, with me, Luinculo. In our last episode, we cleared another uh, dungeon from Bootleg Bay, and uh, turned in a couple quests, you know, you know the deal. And now we're in Corligan's estate, trying to make some money, and finish off a quest, I believe, for the wizard dude, whatever his name is, I forget. Um, you can see our team here, we're picking up oh. quite a few rings. Uh, it's worth to check these every now and then because some of them are going to be much better than anything else you've got at this point. As in, you probably don't have six rings yet. <laughs> They're not going to be awesome, but uh, plus ten speed, you know, that's not bad. Let's give it to the commander for now. And uh, he's going to be selling off all kinds of stuff once we get back to town. Uh, we'll give the junk ones to him to sell. We'll give the expensive ones to Dawes to enchant later. Poison resistance, I don't really care about much. Intellect and personality, um... I'm gonna give it to the commander for now, because he's kind of short on spell points, and that'll give him a couple more. And nothing there. Electric resistance, I don't care about. Yeah. Aha. Oh, that's a good one. You move a little bit quicker. So everybody should have uh, something that increases the rate of recovery eventually. For now, I think I'll actually give it to Dawes. Um, I don't think he has one already. Things like that don't stack, by the way, so you can only get sort of one. Um, and any more than that is kind of a waste. So once someone's got like a, a ring of recovery, then having two is pointless. Or any other kind of armor. You know what I mean. Anyway, we also got to the edge of this uh, deadly chasm last episode, and I... Uh, debated whether or not I wanted to jump down. I decided I'll jump down later. <laughs> For now, I want to stay up here, where it's safer. <laughs> Safe-ish. We'll slow it down. Ah, okay, hold on. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm not sure if this wall is going to pre prevent us from... I'm pretty sure that wall would have stopped the fireball from working. Whereas that managed to pull off perfectly. Good job, Dawes. I'm sure that was you telling me to move over a little bit so we don't kill the party. <laughs> and everybody else can uh, happily clear them up with archers, with arrows. Oh, right. One of these teleporting corridors. Hooray. Now where are we? Um, okay. So, it's just going to be really hard to ever get that stuff. I don't think you can... Yeah. So there's no real way, it just teleports us right through it, from one end to the other end of this long hallway. Which is okay. Some money on the ground. This is like a crypt, but there's nothing in it. Oh, there's some ghosts. So maybe what this is meant for... Are they going to come this way? kind of curious as to whether or not the ghosts will follow us, or if we're too far away from them. It appears this might be too distant, if we can't quite get a shot off from this far away. So it's kind of a neat effect, but um, I thought the enemy might follow you through the teleporter. They don't. Anyway, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Dawes gets to use his fire a little bit more. There you go. I suppose one thing I can check now. Now that Dawes has a few more water points, we could look at some of these other spells, like Ice Bolt. Now that we've got water up to... Let's see, what did I get it up to? I've been forgetting about this skills. Water's up to six, so it's not that high yet. But, um... That's 67. That's not bad for ice damage. Poison spray is really cheap, and uh, that could be interesting, too. Poison damage. I think this does work really good up close, so we'll keep that in mind. Cold beam is not going to be very good. It's a lot like, uh... Remember when I was using static shock... static, static charge at the beginning? It's much like that. Uh, I guess once we're masters, it's free, which is okay, but I imagine the bull will be a bit better. Anyway, I just figured I'd have a quick look. I still don't have very many of the high-level spells, so... We're 
we're stuck with kind of our basic stuff for now. All right, what's behind this? More ghosts, yay. Maybe I'll try to get some distance and do some fireballs this time. Or at least spread them out. If only one specter's gonna follow us, that should help. So let's let's just use let's use nice bolt. Why not? There you go. And I think a firebolt is still a little bit better for the, the actual cost. Not that that one did a lot of damage, but uh, firebolts are pretty cheap, so it's nice to use those for SP, right? All right, there's lots of stuff there. All right, so we've got two following us this time. Hopefully we can take them out. <laughs> A lot of missing. There you go, 28 damage fireball, pretty good. The nature of the random damage in this game, you can uh, fluctu fluctuate wildly. Also, that was a really unlucky hit. These things, because they've got like one-shot attacks, it makes healing up to full very, you know, not worthwhile. Um, you know, you might as well just heal up a little bit so that most enemies can't kill you in one shot. And then if the specters knock you unconscious, well, that's just what you get. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, it's possible something like resist magic might help, but uh, we don't have a lot of that yet. A crusader sword, that's not bad. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, never mind. It's a head in the basket. Ew. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Maybe save again, just in case something goes horrible. Which you never know. Okay, so there's another downwards. You can see another underground pit. Um, I think if we'd fallen down that first one, we would have had been stuck going through all of this. So it's going to be a lot easier, you know, clearing the ghosts out on their own like this, rather than the ghosts and all the skeletons at the same time. I think is, is what I'm remembering. Right, that makes some sense. Also, I think it's time for Wizard's Eye again. Alright, so there's lots of skeletons down there. We'll deal with them later. I would imagine this probably connects up with that other pit. Maybe. Perhaps not. We'll check it out later at the very least. Alright. Time for some uh, rings. There we go. We can handle some skeletons, right? Another ring. Ouch, that took some damage. Got that one. Alright, is that it for in there? So far so good, so far so good, guys. Another treasure. Commander, you're up. Got it. Good job. Lots of money. Oh yeah, look at that. Big money. Oh. Woohoo! Intellect. Well, Dawes, it's your lucky day for intellect now. You lose a little bit of speed, but you get to be smarter. I'll give the speed to somebody else. Yep. Yeah, that will do. And I'll pass that one along. Well, might is pretty good. We'll keep that. And there we go. War Raider finally gets an amulet. So now we just have to mix and match what's the best amulet rather than who has nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's continue our adventure. Maybe do a little bit of healing here. Do, do, do. More stuff to kill. It's almost time to go rest up again, unfortunately. For more SP for Dawes. Definitely before we go to that uh, lower level, I'm going to be resting up. That's for sure. Alright, got it. So for all our trouble, we get switch. And what does that open? I'm not 100% actually. Might have opened up remember way back at the beginning back here? Yeah, look, there's a little there's a little insignia there. Maybe that's what's opened up now. Keep your eyes open for new holes in the wall though, of course. And I will be doing the down there downstairs bit in a little bit later. Been in here, just double check for new doors and stuff. Do do do. Assumingly, there's nothing more here. 
Nothing more there. The teleport hall still teleports. Another underground skeleton pit. Let's uh, maybe slow it down a little bit to this carefully. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally fall down. And even if I had fly, you can't cast fly inside, so don't get any ideas. Okay. We've been here before. Back on sort of the first area from the first video. I don't think any of these rooms down here change, uh, if the way I remember it. So uh, I'm not going to worry too much. What I will do is uh, rest it up though. We've got enough food, we can do that a couple more times. It's not a bad idea. And probably Wizard Eye is good, right? You like Wizard Eye. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so now... Oh, I never did check that water out. Oh, let's save and see what happens if you touch the water. I was having bad memories. Alright, doesn't seem to do anything. That seems like the sort of thing that could have been a teleporter to me, so... Maybe later. Alright, so... I assume... Yeah, this door has opened. So that's what the switch was for. Making you backtrack across the entire map, of course. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah. Would have been nice to get a couple proper fireballs off. I have to stick with some regular fire. I know, I'm burning through all your MP really quick, but... There's a lot of these things here. One more. Come on, guys. Kill that specter. I don't want him knocking anybody out. Alright, one more. <laughs> There's just so many of these things. Uh, this is a tough group. Alright, good. Got some more rings. That's the stuff. Lots of treasure. Try to be ready to pause as soon as we turn around corners. Although I think I see stuff coming from this already. Alright, so I was ready for them. Thanks to Wizard's Eye, I had a bit of help there. Not that it gave us much space. Come on. Yes, I know. We hate these specters. I hate them too. Don't worry, guys. They're hard to hit. But they give us good rings. Come on, hit him. It's just a ghost. Scaredy ghost? Alright, no big deal, no big deal. We're just winding our way down this little spiral. Do do do, just killing some specters. That was a good one, no problem there. If you did that every time, I'd be quite happy. Looks like we're almost down in the basement, the bottom floor. This is another way down through the spiral staircase. And let's save before we go through the store. You never know. Another one of these kind of rooms. Alright. Maybe this is the one I was thinking of with the uh, teleporting. Maybe. As it is, we're just killing skeletons. Not too bad. We can handle a few of these. Ah, more than I was expecting. <laughs> we can handle quite a few of these guys, though. As you remember from the Temple of Ba, we killed a lot of skeletons. I mean, we had a lot of fireballs and stuff, but uh, still. Alright, so yeah, another one of these rooms, very similar. This one, oh, okay, that's what I was remembering. Instead of having water in it, that one just has a hole, so. We'll maybe jump down that later. After we deal with these guys. Nice fireball, that's good. And another fireball. Beautiful. This is why we pay Dawes the big bucks. There we go. No problem. Alright, those uh, skeletons are coming for us, guys. I think we can kill them from this hallway, though. We should be fine. 
speed it up, save some time. I'm gonna come around the corner. Alright. He just wanted to wait till we got nice and close. So then he could walk around and stab us. Oh, come on. X is for jump, not C for cast. Alright, another door. Alright. And another head on a stick. Uh, a little bit of brutality. Oh, a secret door. That's fun. I didn't know, even know about that one. I was just randomly mm. clicking stuff. Aha. Blood dagger. That's not that great. A little bit of money, but the treasure chest could be good. Lots of money. Good deal. Good deal. Mm. Cure weakness. Okay. Commander didn't know it, so now he does. Alright, I actually didn't even remember that was a secret room there, so that was good. Um, there's definitely some monsters underneath that well, but I don't know how we're ever going to get back up, so... I'm not going to do any jumping down until I'm sure we're, we're safe on this floor, basically. Uh, right, so through this door? No, we're good. Well, we're good for now. Hmm, looks like we're on the bottom floor, actually. The map may be difficult to uh, work out, but you can kind of follow it if you're patient. Yes, I knew you were in there, evil spirit. I could see you through the wall. getting a little bit impatient now, so I'm starting to speed things up. <laughs> Alright. Uh, switch? Okay. Guess we'll find out what that did shortly. Maybe it, like, opened the door down here or something. No? Let's just do a little bit of backtracking on double speed, see if anything's opened up for us. Like one of these or something, maybe? This was already open. Do, do, do. I imagine it must have done something. Nothing in here looks obvious. Well, I'm not willing to go all the way back just now, but I have to assume the Switch did something for us. Some of the troubles of these old games is it's not super... Well, it's trouble and fun for these old games. It doesn't explain just what everything does. Whereas the new games give you a waypoint for every quest or whatever. Nothing wrong. So I imagine this is going to be the underground bit, right? Alright, so this was the the second room we walked over. First one was a little bit different. Okay, so nothing too bad here. Probably killing the uh, ghosts on their own helps. Oh boy, ghost time. Oh man, that fireball sure is handy. One more time. I just... I love that fireball. If I told you that before, Dawes... There we go. Good deal, good deal. Ah, get out of here, evil spirit. You're no match for our team. <laughs> too good, too good. Alright, well, they got up close and personal this time. One more ring of fire. Of course, now you're almost out of spell points, but uh, you haven't taken much damage, so... And the fireballs and ring of fire sure speed things up, though. I mean, can you, can you believe just how much it speeds things up? Okay, so where are we now? Right back to the beginning, I see. So that's what the switch opened up? That door? Well, that's kind of lame. So all that's left down there is uh, the pit of no return where we never went through. Well, I would rather jump down the, uh, not that one. That's nothing, of course. But I'd rather r jump down the first one we found, this over here. Let's find out what's down this way. Yeah, let's, let's see what's down here first. And seeing as we've got a spell for it, um, actually, okay, never mind. I changed my mind. There's one thing I want to do first again. We can't rest now. It's I'm going to rest. We can't rest now. I need more SP, that was the idea there. 
Still got enough food. We're okay for a while. No big deal. Wizard's eye. There. And now when we jump down. Did I cast? Like, maybe I double cast that by accident. Oh, well. um, we should be able to do feather fall, put on normal speed, and we don't have to worry about dying on the way down. Well, <laughs> I say that. We don't have to worry about falling and taking damage. Come on, guys. Well, I think we made pretty short work of these guys. So, all in all, that was a success. Now the trick is, where the heck are we and what are we going to do with ourselves? <laughs> uh, we've got some more skull piles. From what I know, they seem to only drop uh, um, like scrolls that aren't that good anyways. So. Got it. Well, that was pretty weak too. Ah. That's all we get for our trouble. A lousy treasure chest with some leather armor. Oh, oh. We get some more ghosts to kill anyway. Try another fireball so those specters don't get too close. Maybe another one. Kind of looked like I was missing the big groups with the fireballs that time. Maybe not as successful as I was hoping. Try some Ring of Fire. I see a lot of these specters with the red. I don't want to let them get too much damage. Not, not bad at all. It seems like when we use a lot of magic, uh, we manage to kill them before too much bad can happen. Good job, Dawes. Nice shot, in fact. Maybe some more fireballs. One more fireball. Maybe some fire bolts. Same thing, this guy's at full health. Try to take him down a bit with magic. Alright, alright. I think we're almost done in here. See a lot of red dots behind walls chasing after us, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we weren't quite as done as I was thinking. Still, I don't think these little skeletons are going to have much chance. Let's, uh... Just to thin the horde. Got that one. There you go. And we're back to green lights again. Awesome. Well, there's definitely ghosts over there. <laughs> Maybe this is the way out. There you go. So that connects up. Good. Good, good. Now let's go this other way. Let's lure them to us. Much smarter. It doesn't seem like arrows work very good on these ghosts. <laughs> I guess that's okay, though. It's probably fair. Some of them hit. They just, uh aren't as reliable against uh, as they are like against goblins or something. Well, that went pretty smoothly. Another switch. No idea what that's going to open up. Lots of ghosts down there. Send a little fireball to say hello. Don't know if it even hit anything, unfortunately. Let's try again. Well, it hit something. I'm getting the feeling that the fireball is not hitting big groups as often as I was hoping, so... Maybe I should switch to uh, just single targeting for a while. Just do a little bit of guaranteed hits with it. Hmm. Well, we're doing okay. I'm almost getting tired of killing ghosts though, I gotta admit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to identifying all these rings, but, uh... Where the heck is this? I have no idea. Is this the spot where... 
That might be the pit that we could have jumped down, actually. Yeah, okay. So that would have taken us here. And on the way out, we could have uh, explored uh, two directions. We could have explored to the bottom of that pit with the treasure chest. And we could have found the switch right here and then come back out. Okay, so what did that switch do then? That's the question. Uh, that is the million dollar question, guys. So we still haven't finished this dungeon yet. Could be that way. Something could have happened down there. In fact, I see a little bit on the map, so that's probably it. I bet you that's it, guys. The map is telling us. Go this way, young blue. It's right here. Well, there's a bit on the map right there, but... I'm assuming I can't go that way yet. Okay. Well, it might be the teleporting hallway. Something could have happened there. Where is the teleporting hallway anyway? This way? Oh, this opened up. That's new. Alright, alright. Puzzles. Maybe uh, that's spots opened up back here now, the one I was looking at before. Do, do, do. Yep, there we go. Okay, I figured it out. Woohoo! All of these little switches. Fairly complicated little puzzle there. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not fair. He teleported us inside here. And I don't have any magic hardly left. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna kill the these guys first. If I can hit them, okay. Okay, focus on the weaker ones first, because they can curse us still. They're not nice. Ouch! I really should have saved it before I came in here. Forgot we had a boss fight coming up. Yes, power liches are tough. Knock it off. All right, let's do this. Uh, you know what, you're gonna punch this. Good hit, good hit. Try to get Dawes back up. Good shot. Maybe more healing. All right, Dawes, you're gonna use the... L uh, I don't have much MP left. Firebolt, I guess. Not that good at damage. Try to stay, keep my guys alive. Halfway dead, we're doing okay. Keep healing everybody up as best you can. Ouch. Come on, Dawes, stay with us. Stay with us, buddy. We almost got this guy. And I was not prepared for this fight. Yeah, good job, Dawes. You got him. Woohoo! Victory! Looks like there's still a couple monsters around. We don't have green light, but I think this is the end. Got it. Nice. Money, money, money. Crystal of Terex. That's the thing for the... Uh, pretty sure that's what we're supposed to get for... Um, what's his name back at... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck did these guys come from? Uh, this might finish us off. As sad as it is to say. <laughs> Come on, kill that specter. And everything else. I'm glad we still got base going. There we go, now everything is green. I think we're good to go. So they must have just teleported in behind us because it was boss time. Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, that was a pretty good fight. I didn't even have to do any save loading or anything. And we managed to kill everything off. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Got a nice windy road to go up to get out of here. Actually, I think we can uh, town portal straight out. Yeah. One of the perks of having master uh, p town portaling. <laughs> Let's hit the N up. Fine. Do some resting. Come on in. Good. Good. See you in the morning. Hi. Oops. Come on in. Now we'll go double check with the uh, quest guy. I think that counts. Oh, his grace, Albert council Newton, quest. Marquis of oh Mist no, the, the council quest was the, was the hourglass. 
Wow, Dawes, you are a lucky sorcerer. Great news! I remember what you need to find, the Crystal of Terex. Oh, you seem to have found it already. That was kind of an accident, I'll admit. Well, perfect. I can train you to Archmage, then. The first Archmage, Terex, used this crystal to master the elements. Fire, earth, water, and air all formed together to make it. And from analyzing it, he learned a great deal about elemental magic. In addition, its effects on light led him to discoveries of light and dark magic. Since that time, the study of this crystal has guided every new Archmage. Let me show you the secrets of the crystal, Archmagi. Now there you go, buddy. So, uh... <laughs> now, we... I'm sure we just gotta level up for that, yeah. In fact, uh, two levels up, even. Oh, you it's broke your armor. Well, that's fair. We had some difficulties at the end there. Um... Yeah, now Dawes is an Archmage, amazing, and he's going to have quite a few more SP than everyone else. Although, not much more than our Priest. Um, I'm sure that has more to do with meditation than anything. Once we've got his meditation up to Expert, that will help. Uh, a lot, actually, so I'm going to be doing that shortly. In fact, perhaps right now. Seeing as we get some level ups, I'm hoping we can train them here can't remember just how high this place will train you. Back for another lesson? Yeah, not bad. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So we spent a lot of money. It's definitely going to continue to get more expensive, but it's always worth it. So what was I saying? Um, Dawes, old buddy, old pal, I should give you meditation. And then you can get that to expert and you'll get lots of SP. Um, the magic we are going to stick with is water for now. I'm going to try to get that up to master. So I'm going to have to save up some points. Use that some more later. Pyro, you get some points yourself. Um, I, I still haven't actually bought you any light magic, so you know we can't do much with that just yet. Soon enough, though. For now, I'll keep putting some points into body, I guess. Put it in the body, and... Uh, you know, light. Light is going to be really good later on, so getting it up to light level 10 will be very handy. Commander, I think I wanted level 10 Master Merchant. I don't think I'll put it much higher than that, but that should be good for now. Um, I'll also give you... a little bit more Disarm. Well, nah, 7 Disarm should be fine for now. Mastered. Um... Well, I wouldn't mind giving you more merchant, though. <laughs> more money, right? Um, I don't know what to do. I could give you axe and bow. Yeah, sure, why not? A little bit better with the axe, a little bit better with the bow. That'll do. And war raider. Uh, perception's getting pretty high. Well, spread the points out a little bit here. We'll make sure level 8 repairer. I still haven't actually trained it up to expert, but, you know. And then, uh... I think I'm, I'm going to head towards Bowmaster before too long. Okay. Spent our skill points. Now, identification time. Oh. Antique ring. Oh. Valuable ring. Oh. Regenerate hit points ring. Well, that's a good one. Um, this one we can trade around with whoever has the lowest HP. So that's kind of cool. I'll give it to Dawes for now, because he's got probably Aha. the lowest. Uh, give that to him. Oh, he's got lots of stuff. So I'm looking for things to enchant, just double checking here. Lots of stuff to sell anyway. Hopefully now that we're done that dungeon, we're going to make some money. Um, we should enchant that. That's already I don't enchanted. Know. That needs to be identified. Oh. Speed and accuracy, not bad. Let's give that to War Raider for now. And a couple no more idea. rings to identify. Oh. Fire resistance, we sell. Mm. Sparkling ring, we sell. I think that's it. All right, Dawes, time to enchant some more stuff. Now that you're, what's, what's your skill at? You're up to seven water magic, so you should have a 70% chance. And I think the higher your skill, the more sort of better effects you get as well. It's kind of the way it works. Personality plus 10. I believe as much as endurance is okay, personality is going to be more useful. Primary statistic and all. 
Um, yeah, we're probably just going to sell the old one. That'll be fine. Endurance, although I like endurance for HP, um, I think more uh, spell points is better. Intellect ring. There you go. Good job. You just wanted that for yourself, didn't you? <laughs> Failed. I don't know. Can't even fix that anymore. Uh, I might not be able to fix that either. I don't know. Or actually, I think I clicked the wrong one. Or is it? I don't know. Oh, it's unidentified. Oh. Oops. <laughs> there, I'm wasting my time trying to enchant it. In already thing. Uh, at some point, I will keep certain rings of uh, resistance and stuff. Um, but for now, I don't think plus ten is enough. Maybe once we start seeing like plus twenty or so, then I'll keep them. For now, I'm just going to keep selling that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. In case you're wondering. Uh, so we got lots of stuff to sell. Someone can reach repair that. Nothing I can do. Uh, if I had trained him up to re expert repair, I bet you he what could do I that. But uh, I haven't done that yet. So let's sell all this stuff. Make as much money as we can. Not bad. Look at that. That was pretty profitable, I would say. Pretty darn profitable. How you doing? How you doing? Any awesome armor? Well, we could we Come could do some soon. buying and selling. Would you like to buy something? Um, no, I want to sell something. All right, Go so we're over yeah. twenty-three grand. Not bad. Um, oh, you're supposed to enchant that as well. Sorry. There you go. What do we get? Armor class plus eleven. Not bad. Who needs it the most? You do, Dawes. <laughs> All right, so that fills up all of your ring slots, but some of them aren't that great. I mean, plus six hit points is hardly anything. Mm, not bad, not bad. I guess we should get that one repaired, though. See if we can uh, identify it. Or can enchant it, that is. Sorry. Okay, let's try this one more time. Dawes does have a pretty good enchant chance. There you go. Much better. Personality plus 12. I'm sure Pyro will thank you. That was a good one. So there you go. Enchanting is getting better. Um, I'd say overall our spell, Hi. our skills are getting good. good um, yeah, good so day. rank 12 in magic. I want to just check these to see if there's good any special. Day. Air is just... What? Oh, this is all you need is Archmage. Okay. Bam! I forgot about that. So, <laughs> just like that, uh, you're an air master. Wow! I f Everything else, I think, needs level 12. <laughs> but air magic does not. So, um, feather fall now lasts an hour per point. Um, good! Good. I will invest more points into it later. Static charge is now free. Wizard's Eye now works on better stuff. Cool. Cool, indeed. I was wondering about that. Also, we'll want uh, meditation for sure. So, um, rank 7 and 30 personality. That's the trick there. How are you? Alright. Well, that was surprisingly useful. Good job. I don't know if there's going to be any more spells the magic of Featherfall. The I think we'll have to go back to Freehaven to get Fly. And I probably will. So I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode I'll probably go on a bit of a spending spree. Um, what I'm going to do now, and you can just sort of take this for granted from now on, whenever I end the episode, whatever town doing? I'm How in, I will buy up unenchanted armor like this, enchant it and sell it back for a small profit. Um, just to try to pimp out our money a little bit. That's kind of cool. Immune to sleep. Immune to, like, disease or poison is much better. But anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to take a break, stop recording this session, and, uh, like I said, I'll do a little bit of enchanting here just to make some money. Hopefully, uh, when I come back, I'll have a little bit more than 19 grand. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you guys next time. Have a great day.